morning, Mariners. It is Monday, May 22nd, 2023. I'm Lucas Christek, and this is the Mariner Report. Well, block schedule is over, and aside from the makeups, testing is complete. That means there's less than a month left in the semester. If you're wanting to get those grades up before the end of the school year, now is the time to talk to your teachers. Let's start things off with a word from ASB. Morning, Morning Mariners! I'm Kenzie, I'm Ashton, and I'm Riley. And here's, here's your ASB update. 8th graders, be sure to check your grade level Google Classroom to vote for the t-shirt design. Be sure to buy your dance tickets at lunch under the tent for $5 before May 30th. For the past two weeks, all 6th and 7th graders have been voting for new 9 elected members of ASB. And all the votes are in. Here's your results. Lola Hallen for ASB President. Vanessa Episcopo for ASB Vice President. Kylie Groke for ASB Treasurer. Bella Gibson for Secretary. Charlie Gibson for Historian. Asha Malin and Maya Kent for Commissioner of Student Affairs. Finally, Kenzie Malloy and Taylor Perry for Spirit Officers. Congratulations to your new nine elected members. On this day in 1927, Charles Lindbergh was resting peacefully in Paris after landing the day before, completing the first transatlantic flight. He had successfully flown a 30-hour flight from New York to France in the legendary plane, the Spirit of St. Louis. Many called Lindbergh the Flying Fool, but when he completed his incredible journey, he was nicknamed Lucky Lindy and became a worldwide hero and even had an airport named after him. Also, on this day, in 1883, preparations were being made for the grand opening of the Brooklyn Bridge on May 24th. The bridge that took 14 years and over 2,000 tons of granite towers and steel cables to build would link Brooklyn to Manhattan. The bridge that was a remarkable creation that improved transportation all around New York. Today, the Brooklyn Bridge is still a world-famous attraction. Mr. G is back. Hi, Mr. Golius. So, we're finally all done with testing, right? That is mostly right. We do have some students who are finishing some makeups. If you are still finishing your state English and math tests, please take your time, finish. But yes, for most students, uh, testing is complete. Thank you all for your efforts on these important tests. Uh, you may have noticed the big fence around our main office building. So we have a lot of moves that we had to make to prepare for summer construction. Uh, we have our counselors will be located in the library computer lab. We have Miss Wynn moving to room 203. Aside from that, pretty much everyone else in that building is going to be in the library. So just stop by and you'll find out where people are there. For students who typically use the library before school, during lunch, after school, you are still welcome. Uh, th this will be located in the library classroom, which is just right next to the library computer lab. Miss Rachel will be there to help you. On Wednesday of this week, we have many groups of students going to the CCTE Showcase downtown. We wish all of you the best of luck. Thank you for representing our school. We do have a four-day weekend coming up, so no school on Friday and Monday in observance of Memorial Day. And lastly, uh, our after-school baseball game is on for May 31st, we have enough players to make teams, so I'll be calling down students for, during advisory to go over those teams. Girls softball, we need a few more students to register, so see Google Classroom to register, and we do plan to have a game in June for you all after school. That's it for now. Yeah, thanks Mr. Golius.
any of you 6th or 7th grade students are interested in being part of the dynamic TMR team next year, now is the time to talk to Mr. Paulson. Go visit him at the TMR headquarters in room 124. That's it for this week, Mariners. It is Monday, May 22nd, 2023. I'm Lucas Kristek, signing off for the Mariner Report. Have a great rest of your week.